Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Tuesday, November 26th, less than two days away from the big day here in the United States. Thanks. Uh, it is going to be Thanksgiving. Reason why I say that, we broadcast all around the world so people don't realize. What, what's this whole Thanksgiving story about? Well, just to let you guys know, the market is closed on Thursday, so don't freak out if you call us up and log into the morning meeting and see that there's nobody there, all right? And on Friday is a half a day, so um, just kind of give you guys a little heads up. I, you know, I'm looking in the market. Ah, you know, it's things that look a little dead right now. I'm not really seeing anything. Today is one of the is going to probably be one of the busiest days of the year of trade of, of um traveling. I'll raise the volume. There you go. It's going to be a really busy day because tomorrow I think there's going to be some really crazy weather coming around, and I think they're changing a lot of flights around. So uh, I'm not expecting it to be a crazy day so far. I looked around. There's a couple things moving. Nothing great. We killed it yesterday. We killed it yesterday, but. Like this, we're going to talk about that Jan stock. My God, I mean, this is what you really train for. But um, I think tomorrow is going to be a little bit more action. That's why uh, I'm going to, you know, I didn't want to do the phase three live trading with Fausto today. And I pushed it off for tomorrow. But, um, but remember, we've got Black Friday coming up. So there's a lot of uh, great deals going to be coming here at Cyber Trade University. Make sure you check the Black Friday deals. And uh, what else we got going on? Yeah, so we got that. And then also... Uh, I'm going to be on NASDAQ today. I'm going to the city and going to be live on NASDAQ talking about level, total view. You know, you know what's amazing? NASDAQ was so, like, overwhelmed. I'm like, my God, it's like I can't believe it. Here we are promoting total view, which is level three, I call it, and nobody talks about it. And they loved it so much, like I told you, they want me to come back. And uh, I'm looking forward to being there and doing another event. So we'll let you guys know. Um, if you want to watch it, but it will be recorded, so you can listen to uh, listen to it. And it'll be broadcast on our uh, on our website. All right. So in the meantime, let's talk about what's moving and what did move yesterday. You know, there really wasn't that much out there yesterday. I mean, yesterday we had a really good push in the market. We had a couple of nice little stocks going into the afternoon. We had a really really good phase three. By the way, if you if um, for all the gold and platinum traders here, make and I know you guys are trading. If you missed it. Make sure you log in and watch the class that you missed yesterday afternoon. The morning wasn't great. The morning wasn't, you know, we, we, we did a short. Um, I wanted to kind of talk a little bit more about shorting because some, some of us, you know, we, we really don't take advantage of shorting that much. But the afternoon was a really, really good class. But um, we did really well on a couple of stocks. But, but for the, some of you that were trading and that are new to Cybertrain University or are going to be watching this on, on our YouTube channel or our Facebook Live, whatever it is, this really was the big winner right here. This stock right here, Jan, and you could see it right here. Let me just bring it up. You could see that this stock right here, just literally right in pre-market, just a great runner. Um, from it, it started not even at eight thirty, started at eight forty-five. It literally went from three dollars and fifty cents all the way to about seven dollars. It had a nice little Fausto flag right here, and even if you chased it at five, you sh I mean, you could have should at least got out at six for crying out loud. So remember, great traders, we don't buy at the bottom and sell top. We always buy in between. So that one worked out really, really well for us yesterday. There were a couple other ones, and we're going to go through the watch list. There are a couple of stocks that are moving, but there were a couple other ones. I mean, all the ETFs yesterday made a move because the market just broke an all-time high. Let's give, uh, let's give the stock market a big round of applause. You guys got to be excited, man. I mean, this is awesome. I mean, this is historic. What, what you guys have been experienced. And it's amazing that people don't realize it, but unfortunately, there's a lot of jealous people out there, you know, and they're like, oh, you know, they, they, they think that we're, we're the bad people. Listen, you, all you got to do is just jump into the market. But obviously, you got to be trained properly too, more than anything. But anything, stock market is doing amazing and it's exciting. And I'll tell you, and for, for uh, Ken Thal, give that a round of applause. I totally agree with you on that one. All right? Mark is just doing phenomenal. I think it's going to go a hell I mean, from what I heard from everybody else, they all say it's going to be a lot higher. All right. So, um, yeah, if you're short, you're wrong. No, no. You know, that's basically what it comes down to. All right. So, let's talk about some other stocks that did make some nice little moves right here. Uh, yesterday, I want to talk about the AUST. That thing was just literally crazy yesterday. That one was a little bit all over the place, but that was a fun stock. 
Uh, the CBAY, that thing got crushed in pre-market. Literally destroyed. You know, I'm a fan of stocks that get destroyed because sometimes they come back, you know. So it, it is on my watch list. I'm not really a fan of it right now, but that one also just literally got crushed. CLVS um, also was a nice little move yesterday from 10 o'clock. It ran, just kept going, going straight up. That was pretty good. There were a couple of good ones out there. But other than that, I mean, listen, this is what you have to expect when it comes to trading. It, there are great days and there are bad days. You know, in the, but that one stock, Jan, I told everybody, you made your money, game over. Unfortunately, I had to teach a class, which a lot of you were in, but if it was up to me, I would have been done for the day and I would have been out there putting out Christmas lights. You know what I mean? That's what I would have been doing. That's the beauty about our job. All right, so anyway, what's moving on this morning? Now, listen, you see there's a stock up right now here in the big percentage gainers up 300 and 26 percent okay i'm just going to bring that up right now and just show it to you so realistically listen this stock is dead it's done nobody's going to be trading it it's obviously probably a buyout in half hours but it's completely flat don't look at it don't worry about it listen we've trained stocks we've traded stocks up 300 percent and they've done it over the course of the day they started at like 20 and it went to 300 some went to 500 um people say i never seen that before well obviously you're in the wrong trading room that's why but you know what we do it here once a week. We had a couple of them. And uh, I think what was, the, what, was the, what was the recent one that we had? You know, I hate talking about old stocks, you know, but this really wasn't that old. And I'm actually a little still ticked off on this K, the KRTX, right? How about that one? That was awesome, right? Remember that one? Went from 35 to 150 in uh, two days. That's what we train about. Believe me, don't worry about guys. There'll be another one. There'll be another one. And you know what? You could have shorted it too. All right, so let's talk about what is moving other than that. So we got that one. We got the, N, um, the NTNX. That also gapped up pretty big after hours right here. It's up 18%, 200,000 shares. That one's doing pretty decent right there. Um, it's kind of flat in pre-market. Not crazy about it, but because it did it on pre-market. So I don't know. We'll see how it opens up. The swing trade, guys. Listen, I, I tell you this all the time. This is just not a day trading room. OK, we swing trade in this room also. But for you to be a good swing trader, I say it all the time. You damn well better be a good day trader first, because if you don't, you're going to blow up the account. First of all, how the hell are you going to know what to swing trade if nothing really you don't know what's happening over the course of the day? Right. Because if you bought at the bottom and saw the top, you got lucky. That's not day trading. So the LK. OK, LK. We've been talking about this for a while. You know, it's been moving up great. I know some of you guys jumped into it. I mean, listen, it's not the greatest swing, you know, but you know what? It, it broke all-time highs. Companies in OIPO, this is little baby brother of Starbucks coffee, I'm, or I can call it copycat or Chinese company of Starbucks. You know, I mean, I'm calling what it is. I mean, basically, but it's a good company. But regardless, like it, hate it, whatever, it's irrelevant. Bottom line is it's doing well. Money's money, right, at the end of the day. So that one's doing pretty well. One other stock all of you guys have been chatting in the trading roll about this morning is Dick Sporting Goods. So that stock, I mean, you know, had a really nice push early this morning, came out with some good news, and you could see it's starting to trend down a little bit. You could see long term, it's, it, it, Dix is obviously hasn't been like the most fun swing trading stock, but, you know, it's got some good day trading moves. We'll see how she opens up. I'm not really a fan of trading this stock. Kenthal says, I miss Sports Authority. You know what? I kind of like Sports Authority uh, too also. Uh, there were, listen, there's so many of them out there. I mean, uh, was it uh, universe, uh, stop, I mean, there's so many of those companies. It's unbelievable. But Best Buy, right? Best Buy, Best Buy's doing good. Best Buy, shockingly, you know, I'm not a fan of Best Buy, but I'm not going to hold it against it and not make, to make money with it. But Best Buy is up too, up a little bit too. But these are the stocks that we're really going to stay away from, you know, uh, Fitbit, we know about the buyout with Fitbit. Um, that's gapping up a little bit. I don't know what happened with Fitbit. I thought this whole deal was a done deal. I don't know what's going on with it. But uh, Fitbit, 20 million shares already there. Now, let's talk about some of the stocks I do like, okay, that are a little bit better to trade. Keep an eye on this BXC, okay, and I'll tell you why. This stock got destroyed from 37, went down to 9. You want to know how to swing trade? This is what you look at. 
Here's a stock, you know, just got destroyed yesterday. Went from 12 all the way down to 850. She made a really nice push yesterday. She's gapping up a little nicely right now. I told you this early this morning. I said, you know what? I kind of like this stock. Um, and went nine around 8.30, and I told you it was at 10.20. Look where it is now. And once again, I have no crystal ball. I'm just telling you from experience. So I said, I says, I kind of like this one because only because how destroyed this stock got. And let me tell you, once again, you want to be a good swing trader, you damn well better know how to be a good day trader because if you didn't see this happening, you know, several days ago and you could have got out 30 and then you wake up the next morning, it's at 18 and you wake up and now it's at eight and then you sell it, right? And now it's back up to 10. What are you going to do, right? You got to know how to play the game. So that one's pretty good. MNK, not a big mover, but I've been watching the stock for the last couple of, uh, couple of days and it's been trending up. There's a little bit more on a level one trading stock for all you beginner traders. And one other swing trade I want to bring up that we've been doing pretty well on is Disney. Now, I told you about this stock. Once Disney got into the media, the Netflix business, um, I, see, I could see Netflix having an issue. But Disney, listen, Disney is one powerhouse. I mean, they, they own the rights to all these movies, the Star Wars, uh, the Avengers, all that stuff. And they're really coming out with these things. So they're kind of realizing that, you know what? That that's a market that they really haven't tapped into, and it's been it's been working out well. And Disney is breaking all time highs. All right. So listen, you think 140 is expensive? What happens? It goes to 500, or how you know Netflix went to a thousand and split. You know what I mean? That could happen. That could happen. Okay. So, but is it a day trade? No. Okay. You know we don't day trade 149 dollar stocks. But for some of you that you know looking at a swing trade. You know what? It, it's it's one little stock that I that I bought for my nieces and nephews. You know, after hearing about the big buy, you know about what they're doing. And you know what? If it, listen, if it breaks before 140, I'm out. You know, but if it keeps doing this little trend right here, you know, I'm still a little fan. Still a little fan, right? All right. So listen, not a very big list today, and that is perfectly normal. It's because we are um, we're almost to Thanksgiving. People are traveling today. Um, you know, due to the weather, weather has a big factor. Once again, this is New York, financial capital of the world. Kids are off from school. Kids are come back from college today. You know, a lot of people are not too crazy about the market. I mean, look at the Dow right now. It's up 26 points. You know what I mean? You saw what it was yesterday. But tomorrow, I mean, but we always find new ones that will pop up. So we'll do commentating for, you know, once, once we're done with this meeting, right at 930, the market opens up. But if you see something, we'll say something. All right, and then uh, and then listen. Friday, Wednesday is going to be great, and don't miss Fridays. It's a half a day. I know everybody wants to do some shopping. We're going to have our own Black Friday. I think that's all you need to spend your money on. <laughs> we do it once a year, uh, but go out there and uh, just make sure you lock yourself in and be here on Fridays, okay? Because Friday's a pretty good day, actually. I'm shockingly. All right, guys. Good luck. Happy trading, and uh, we'll be back in uh, ten minutes. To start the uh, market open. For everybody else, enjoy and uh, happy trading, everyone.